everybody. Welcome back. I know it's been a while, uh, but it's the holiday season and it's been a bit crazy. Uh, I know I'm overdue on posting a video, but I'm also overdue on, um, I guess what I would consider a product review of what will hopefully be my new favorite toy. Um, this year I've met so many people who have had inflatable paddle boards or kayaks. Um, they've had them for years. One couple I met had, I think, their kayak for about four years, and they've gotten a lot of use out of it and had nothing but positive things to say. Um, and before this year, I wouldn't have even entertained getting an inflatable kayak or paddle board, but um, it was really important to me to be able to store it easily and haul it easily. Um, so the more I thought about it, the more an inflatable kayak paddleboard just made more sense. So um, what I have is a paddleboard, which isn't really my favorite thing, uh, but in the right setting, it can be a lot of fun. But this has um, an, a place where you can attach a seat to it. So it, it converts to, I guess, a flat top, sit on top um, kayak. So I'll show you the what I got and then we can go outside and play. Okay, so here it is. There's the back. It comes with three fins and that gray circular thing that you see is where you inflate the paddle board. Um, and it has a little ankle strap thingy. I don't know if that's a technical term. And here is the handle. It's relatively easy for me to carry. Um, it inflates to 15 PSI and it was my first time inflating it. So it was a little challenging once I figured out the proper way the first 10 psi were pretty easy but the last five I got a really good arm workout if I do say so myself um, I didn't attach the seat because the kayak paddle um, is really short so I want to get a different kayak paddle um, ideally I would like one that is adjustable and it'll extend out so that I could use it while I'm standing and sitting I don't know if that's possible, if they make that. If not, they should. If you're listening or watching and you have the means to do design and make that, please do for me, thanks. Also, uh, this is where the seat attaches on either side. Um, I just didn't do it. And this is a foot rest so that when you're seated, you can rest your feet, I guess. I guess that's a thing. Um, it'll be nice. And then it comes with this uh, bungee rope and that bag is mine. So it matches. I didn't plan that, but it does. This is a Hydro Force Best Way. Um, and it had some really good reviews online. We'll see how it goes. So let's go outside and play. finished the maiden voyage of my hydro force that makes me think of star wars maybe it's because i saw the last star wars or the 
the latest Star Wars, so Hydro Force be with you. <laughs> um, anyway, I just finished the maiden voyage of my inflatable paddleboard slash kayak, and it went really well. Um, it was easy to carry. Um, I went close by in a bayou, which made me a little nervous because I, I, don't, I don't like it when the water's so dark I can't see <laughs> anything in the water. And it's high tides. There was a bunch of um, debris, and it's a beautiful day. It's one of the nicest days we've had in a couple of weeks. So there were a lot of people jet skiing and boating, and the water was a little rough um, at times. It wasn't bad, uh, but I, I really liked it. I liked how it handled. It's a little bit more narrow than the, the other paddle boards that I've ridden. Um, so the stabilization wasn't, I wasn't really comfortable. Um, next time I'll take it somewhere else out of this little bayou area and stand up. And also I had my GoPro on my head. Next time I think I'll attach it to the footrest so that I'm not concerned. I was really concerned about falling over, falling in the water and, and something happening and my losing my GoPro. So I was on my knees, you could, you could tell. And, um, you can see the the paddle board paddle me switching hands, which I didn't I didn't like that. So sorry about that. Next time it won't be like that. Um, it was easy to get out of the water, although it felt a little bit heavier after hauling it down to the water and paddling around a little bit. Um, and I had to hoist it up to the side. I had to like jump down into the water, and I cut my foot on a barnacle. <laughs> but it wasn't. It's not too bad. It's just a little more than a little scratch. Um, anyway, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this new toy. Um, if you're on the fence about something like this, an inflatable paddleboard or kayak, I would encourage you to, to do your research, find which one fits best for um, your needs and your lifestyle, and just go for it because it's a lot of fun. So if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye!